News Video Web. We're here with the most gorgeous Angela Rockwood. Hello. Yay. <laughs> and we're here celebrating the Emmys. We just came from, well, Secret Rooms, Emmy Red Carpet Events at Los Angeles. Wonderful Angela's swag Island. party going on right now at the Montage. Did you have a great time? I did. Wonderful. So uh -huh. many darling little pets and animals and critters. So cute. Mm, yes. They were pretty cute. They were. There was a lot of them. I wanted to take them home. Now, I had seen you last time at Sundance when the Push Girls was just coming out. And I saw you, and I think I saw somebody Tiffany. else. Tiffany from the Today. show. Mm -hmm. So Tiffany and I are here supporting. And we are from a show called Push Girls. You can watch it on Netflix and Amazon season one and two. Yay! Yes. <laughs> but we were together in Sundance. So I was right behind, and all of a sudden, bam! I'm like, ah! <laughs> you guys had a great time. Wonderful time. They spoiled us. We had so much fun there. It was freezing cold, but everybody just treated us so well. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. But you guys made it two seasons. Yes. That's awesome. So right now we're just seeing what's going on with the third season. So we're just waiting to see Can what's happening. Can you tell us anything about it? I can't say anything. Nothing. Uh, it does involve Angela. <laughs> the hell's that? It involves Angela. <laughs> just know I'm engaged now. Ooh. Is, that gonna be on the Is that going to be on the show? Who knows? I don't know. Ooh, no. <laughs> but you are also working on something else because I saw this coming across Facebook. Yes. What is it? I have been blasting this new campaign called Raw Beauty, mm -hmm. which sorry for the sign because we just made it in the in the lobby here. But it's hashtag Raw Beauty NYC, which is for New York City. And it's it's basically an organization that has reached out to me about three months ago and I'm a part of it. And through history, through media, everybody has their perception or their definition of what beauty is. But the thing is, we all come into this world, we're born unique, different for a reason, and we need to embrace that. And so we started this campaign to bring awareness that beautiful comes in all shapes, sizes, colors, and everything. And there's actually gonna be a showing, a gallery. The Raw Beauty campaign, they basically are showcasing 20 women with 20 disabilities at the ACA Gallery in New York City, Manhattan on September 20th from 7 to 10. And if you log on to www.rawbeautynyc.com, you can get more information. They've also partnered up with the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation, and I'm oh, one of their awesome. ambassadors. Yeah. But it's to bring awareness and to raise money for women with disabilities. Mm, that's awesome. So to be a part of it, if you feel that you're beautiful and unique in your own way, all you have to do is just create a sign. If you don't want to do it with your own hand, or you can print one out. Hashtag R A W B E A U T Y N Y C Raw Beauty, and just post it all over Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And if there's someone that you feel is beautiful, then you post them and then put it on your social media. Hmm. That sounds like a great campaign. You don't have to dump any ice on top of your head or anything oh, like that. <laughs> have, you done, yeah. have you done that? I have to. I'm doing it tomorrow. <laughs> Me and I are doing it for the ALS. Yeah. What is it? Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Try saying that five times. That's pretty it's, tricky. Yeah, it's a tongue twister. I'm curious. What is raw beauty to you? Oh, raw beauty to me. Raw beauty to me is that essence that's found in every individual, every woman. When you come into this world, it's so rare, so pure and genuine. And no matter what obstacle is going on in your life or catastrophic event, it's something that you can tap into and it comes out and it's exuded effortlessly. And a lot of women have to remember to connect with that. And that right there, that little essence, that's beauty to me. It's something that's not tangible, but you can see it and you can feel it. You can't explain it, but that's what raw beauty is to me. That's pretty awesome. Now, when I first met you, I was told that I had to meet you, that you were an amazing woman and extremely inspirational. Who's that? They need to be my manager. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I'm curious for you, um, you know, what inspires you? And what do you, how would you like to change the world? Oh, the question, two questions. What inspires me and how would I like to change the world? Well... What inspires me basically is that I can be here. I mean, I've died five times and come back. I had like five near-death experiences. Wow. So what inspires me every day is the fact that I get up 
and I'm actually breathing and I have life. And life is, is a gift and a lot of people forget that. And how do I want to change the world? I basically want to change the world by just reminding others that life is a gift and what we do with our life is our gift back to the world and to others and to ourselves. And it's something, I mean, it, it's life, I mean, I was in a car accident 13 years ago. Within a split second, my whole life changed. Mm -hmm. And some people are not that lucky. And, you know, it's unfortunate we lost Robin Williams. But because it can go within a blink of an eye, people forget how precious life is. And so it's important to remind others to be grateful and not to take anything for granted. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I decided to create Push Girls, to remind the world and to show others that no matter what's happening in your life, you can overcome it and you can just push through it and you just live your life to the fullest because tomorrow isn't promised. So I guess that's what you would say. Do I win the crown? No, I'm kidding. Do I win the crown <laughs> now? The crown. No, I'm kidding. So, no, but seriously, that is, that is my passion, just to, to give back and the way I live my life, I like people to see how I live my life because if you don't practice what you preach, then no one's going to listen to you. Yeah. And you are definitely a role model for many. Thank you. So check them out. Thank you. Push girls. Yes, and also and Rob, Rob Beauty, Beauty, NYC. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>